Women have evolved. They have changed. And not like the women in the 50s and 60s. They're not Betty Drapers anymore, right? They're now what? Peggy Olsen's. Like, ooh, that was a good one. I like that one. So women have changed. And how does that now affect you guys? Let me explain to you. Just a nighttime boy. Why they calling me a devil? I guess everybody got a demon. You're, what's good, everybody? This is Hafiz, and welcome to my new series, Lessons I Wish My Big Brother Taught Me. Let's jump right into it, but before we jump right into it, I want to tell you guys quickly why I started this series. Similar to most of you guys, I absolutely sucked with women. I struggled throughout my whole entire 20s being super single and being rejected 24-7. Kind of like Albert Brenneman and Hitch, I had no guile and no game. With no guile and no game, there's, guess what, guys? There is no girl. So I went on the journey trying to learn everything I could about, you know, dating, relationships, femininity, masculinity, all that good stuff. And eventually I started putting the pieces together and understanding how to navigate this modern world. And I started to be getting the opportunity to meet some of the best dating coaches in the world. And what they all told me was the same exact thing. They said that most guys aren't trying to be Wilt Chamberlain, have like a 24-7 sex of palooza. That would be kind of cool. Most guys really want one meaningful relationship with a, a good woman that's what they really care about like that's what most guys want and so I kind of created my style of dating advice to be like ethical pickup right it's not about manipulation it's not about you know lying deceptions not about you know trying to you know play with her emotions like you know with Geppetto the main idea that I'm trying to do is help you guys be the best version of yourself to attract the right kind of women that will be blessings into your life and not headaches like the women that you probably deal with already so before we get started, there are three ground rules that we all need to follow. Rule number one, this is my personal experience, and this is not every woman in the world, right? This is not a generalization of all women. I have not met all women, though I would look forward to doing so. But I'm simply talking about my personal experience, the experience of some of these great dating coaches, and also experiences of my friends. So guys, don't talk about in the comments, well, I, didn't, I never met women like that. My experience. Rule number two. Two, this is Algebra 1. It's not geometry. It's not trigonometry. It's not Algebra 2. It's not calculus. It's not AP stat. This is Algebra 1. This is the basics, right? I can literally do some of these videos and make one video like five hours long. But I want to make this short and condensed to give you guys bite-sized pieces. And plus, you will watch my video content if it's too long. And rule number three that I want you guys to understand is that please, please, please hit the subscribe button on the right-hand corner and hit the bell. Like I said, guys, this is an eight-part series coming out every Saturday at 9 a.m., and so I want you guys to listen to every single video and to not get lost, because if you don't listen to the whole video, you won't understand my entire message. So I'm going to give you guys five seconds to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and hit the bell doing so now. All right, guys, let's jump into it. And part one of this series is called The Truth of the Modern Woman. So let's go ahead and talk about it. You see, growing up, guys, I grew up very, very, very naive. I grew up on anime. I grew up on romantic comedies. I grew up on, you know, all kinds of, you know, girl books and girl stories and all kinds of hoopla that Disney spewed out. And I came to a conclusion that women had three major values that they cared about in life. The first thing that women cared about, in my opinion, was getting married. The second thing I thought women cared about was having kids. And the third thing I thought women cared about is having, you know, long-lasting and fulfilling relationships, right? That's what I thought they all cared about. So I navigated my entire life with that premise. And I thought that, you know, every girl wants to be married, I'm a guy, you know, so all I got to do is be there, care for her, be sweet, be the perfect guy, and then she'll want me. Wrong. So I literally wasted the first half of my 20s talking to two girls who never wanted me, no matter how hard I tried. And I realized at this point that I was doing everything all wrong. And I wasted my time. And I don't want you guys to waste yours because the modern woman is not like that. Like that was true maybe in the 50s and 60s. But nowadays, the modern woman is totally different. Like she is completely evolved, right? She's no longer this sweet and innocent Charmander. Now she's this feisty and assertive Charmeleon. And I don't think everybody was a big fan of Charmeleon. So 
how has a modern woman evolved? So my thing is the modern woman's values have changed. So in the past, I would argue that the number one value that women had was being married. Nowadays, that's not true. Most women care about having a satisfying career as the number one value. Number two, their, value, their desire was to have kids. Not so much as much. Now they care about having financial stability. Number three, their value was going to be to be able to have, you know, satisfying relationships. Not as much. Now they care about, you know, self-sufficient, self-reliance, and self-love, right, to be able to have happiness on their own. So let's go ahead and break that down a little bit, fellas. If I told you that person A cared about having their career, financial stability, and self-reliance, who would you say person A is? Ding, 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 correct. You would think person A is a guy. So what you notice, guys, is that the modern woman has traded her, her normal feminine desires for more masculine desires. Like I said, women have evolved. They have changed. They're not like the women in the 50s and 60s. They're not Betty Drapers anymore, right? They're now, what, Peggy Olsen's. Like, ooh, that was a good one. I like that one. So women have changed. And how does that now affect you guys? Let me explain to you. Not only have women become way more masculine, now men have become way more feminine, right? We are kind of the byproducts of what I consider, you know, the nice guy, low testosterone, mama's boy generation, right? There's a whole generation of women who had sons and were like, I don't want my sons to be like the mean guys in the past. I want them to be these nice, sweet, good old boys that, you know, everybody loves and, and everyone cares about. So now you have to see how this works, guys. Like I said, the modern woman has been leveling up right? A lot of studies have showed that when it comes to high school degrees, more women have high school degrees than men. When it comes to bachelor's degrees, more women have bachelor's degrees than men. I believe it master's degrees as well. Then what most people don't know about is that under the age of 30, more women, I mean, women make more money than the average guy. Then you factor into that a lot of women have their own homes, a lot of women have their own places, and they have their own cars, and a lot of guys don't have these things. So a lot of women have become so much more masculine than the typical guy. And what you don't realize is that though women have become more masculine, they're still women. And ro romantically, they still desire masculine men. And David Data had this amazing test, which really proves it to be true. This is how you know what you desire sexually, whether you desire masculinity sexually or you desire femininity sexually. Let's take this test to find out. So would you rather pin your partner down in bed as you make love to them, or would you rather have your partner pin you down on the bed as they make love to you? Or would you rather feel your lover surrender swoon in your arms, or would you rather be swept off your feet by a strong and sensitive lover? What you're gonna guys are gonna find out is most women are gonna pick the latter, right? Most women are gonna rather desire to be pinned down and they're gonna rather desire to be swept off their feet. They desire that masculinity. And so the fundamental issue is that most guys are no longer masculine and that's the number one thing that creates that sexual desire and sexual attraction to women. So here's how this messes you up in relationships. Most guys, I would argue, are good guys, which are different than nice guys. And good guys want relationships. So while they care about career, they also care about relationships. So their values are 1A career, 1B relationships. But women are different, right? Like I told you, the modern woman, her value, number one thing is career, two, the financial stability. So relationships may not be as high on their list. So a lot of you guys can multitask. You can do both, and a lot of women can't. So when you're trying to meet a girl, you're trying to start a relationship with her, she may not want it. So now you appear needy, you appear desperate, and you start hearing things that traditionally men have never heard. Like, I'm not ready for a relationship. Or, I'm just focused on my career right now. Or, you know, I'm just too busy right now to really give myself to somebody like that. Those were things in the past men said to women. And now women are saying these things to men. And so that's what a lot of you guys if you're honest, have dealt with and are going to deal with a lot of women just not desiring you sexually, being in the masculine and seeing your need for relationships to be very needy and, to be honest, very feminine. So how do we navigate this, right? How do we navigate this reality moving forward and create a better dating future for you guys all? The first thing is that I'm going to teach you guys how to be able to discern a feminine woman from a masculine woman, right? Because at the end of the day, you want a feminine, receptive woman versus a more masculine woman who just won't be receptive to your leadership or even at most of your desires. 
But the big thing, which the next video is going to be about, is how to be a masculine man that most women sexually desire. That's really what a lot of you guys need to work on, being this more masculine man that creates sexual attraction to the modern woman, which we'll talk about in the next video. Like I said, guys, I can go on for days. I may talk a little bit more about this on Patreon, but this is just a basic overview of the modern woman. And the biggest thing that you guys need to understand is that the modern woman is not this feminine housewife who just sits at home thinking about boys all day long, wanting to be married, that a lot of these girls are more masculine, more competent, and more confident than the average guy. And in order for them to really be swooled off of their throne and desire relationships, they need to be encounter a masculine man or a man who is more masculine than she is. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Share, share, share this content and check out the full episodes of our podcast. Don't forget, guys, part two comes out next Saturday at 9 a.m. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.